Welcome to my YouTube channel. So excited to have you here and talk about this topic because this is one of the biggest questions that I get from women, right? Why do I keep attracting these narcissistic men? Why do I keep falling into these relationships? Why does this keep happening? So different versions, but the same question. Why you find only narcissistic men to date? I mean, that's the truth, right? You pick one, turns out he's the same as the other one. Different face, same traits. So that is what we're talking about today. Hello, my name is Denise Kavaleskis and I am a woman's transformational love coach specializing in helping women, specializing, <laughs> helping women heal from toxic relationships, narcissistic relationships with toxic men. Okay, so as always, my loves, if you find any value in this video or any other video, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and or comment below. Every time you do one of those three things, you actually boost the video up, boost me up, which allows me to reach more women, more men who have been through these types of relationships. All right, let's get into it. it, it. Why you find only narcissistic men to date. All right. So I'm going to give you the short version of why this keeps happening to you. When we've been through these types of relationships, when we've been through extreme heartbreak, like not just the normal, like I loved him, we just grew apart, like the abuse of part, right? He was mean, he ignored you, he called you names, he ghosted you, he cheated on you, he lied to you, those types of relationships. When you've gone through that type of relationship, there must be a healing process afterwards. You deserve that healing. You deserve that time and attention for yourself to heal from that relationship because here's what happens when you don't. You repeat it. Life will bring it to you in another way, in another form, in another fashion. Life will bring it to you because this is something that you need to learn from. This is something that you need to give attention to. And until you do that, the, the healing way, then life is just going to bring it to you again. So you could look at it as like, well, that's messed up. That's not fair. But think about it this way. Don't you deserve to heal from that experience, from somebody being mean to you, from somebody treating you so badly, from somebody breaking your heart? lying to you, cheating on you. Don't you deserve that for yourself, for your children, or for the children that you're going to have? Don't you deserve that? So think about it that way, that you didn't deserve to be treated that way, but you do deserve to heal from that treatment. And that's how you break the cycle, is the healing piece. That's the missing piece when, when you keep finding yourself um, attracting these types of men, that's the missing piece, is the healing piece. So all you have to do is just heal from that experience. Like, give yourself the time and attention that you deserve to heal from this. And that's when you'll see things change for yourself. You'll see amazing, beautiful, magical things happen. Not only in these relationships that we're talking about, but in other areas of your life too, because healing is healing, right? So why you find only narcissistic men to date is because you haven't healed from the last narcissistic relationship. And that's just the truth. Like that's just it. So I know this through my own experience. I know this through my clients. I know this through my own healing experience. I know this from hearing it from other people women coaches that do the same thing that I do. That's just how life is. Life will keep showing you what you need to, to give attention to, right? So that little broken hearted person in you deserves this 
healing process, this healing journey. So give yourself that, okay? And listen, you being here right now is starting that process. Um, but find a book that really resonates with you. Find a therapist, find a counselor, find a coach, find somebody, just start, like just start anywhere. If it's just finding somebody and following them on YouTube or whatever social media platform, start there. The most important thing that I really want to get to you is to not stay in your story, your victim story. You were victimized, no doubt you were victimized. And you do, it, it is healthy for you to acknowledge that you were victimized. But what's not healthy is when you stay in that victim story. Because your words cast spells. Everything is energy. So when you repeat that story, he did this to me, he did that to me, you know, he blah, 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 and I felt this way, and this is what happened, and poor me and my kids. And when you repeat that story over and over again, you're rehearsing that story over and over again inside of you, which in essence, you're keeping it alive. You're breathing life into it every time you tell that story. I know many women who they reach out for help, they want help, but they keep repeating that same story. And, it, and it's almost, it, it sounds rehearsed because it is, because they've repeated it so many times. And so energetically what's happening is they're breathing life into it. That, so they're keeping that story alive. So if you keep the story of, I'm a victim, I, I don't deserve this treatment, and I, and I was in this type of relationship, then it's, it's like, that's your story. So what happens is you recreate that story over and over again. But if you come from a place of once upon a time, the way, like the way I share the story, like there's no charge, there's no attachment to my past story. I was in a 22 year relationship with a narcissistic man um, that we have two kids together. I share the story of how I contracted STDs through him um, three times, but there's, there's no attachment or no charge. There's no emotion to the story that I'm telling. I'm not telling it from a victim standpoint. I'm more of telling it through a leadership, a leader position where I'm sharing it with you to teach you like, this is what I've been through. This is what I did to come out of it. This is where I am now. And this is what's possible for you too. See the difference? So I invite you to tell it differently. Reach out, whether it's YouTube or whatever, to get the healing that you need, that you deserve. It's really that you deserve it. Okay, so why do you only find narcissistic men to date? In short, because you haven't healed from the last one. So all you have to do to stop this is just heal. That's all you have to do is just heal from the last relationship, which will take you into a deep healing and will connect the dots for you. And then you'll see you will feel so much lighter, so much better, and you won't attract these narcissistic men ever again. Even the sneakiest ones, the ones that try to creep up in, right? They start off so charming and charismatic. And then you'll see right through that. You'll see. Ah, you'll trust your gut. You'll trust your intuition. You'll trust your feeling of like, mm. and you won't repeat it again. And isn't that what you want? Don't you want to have a new experience, have a fun, loving relationship with someone who loves and adores you? Isn't that what you want is to be able to travel with your best friend and have fun in life and be with somebody who loves and adores you, who honors you, who respects you, who gives to you with no intention of getting anything back. Someone who's honest with you, someone who would never dream of looking at another woman. His eyes are only for you. He loves you. He wants you. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that beautiful? That's what's waiting for you. That's what's possible for you. Once you heal from the last relationship, that is what's waiting for you. 
when you stay in the, the, the circle, the swirl of what happened, then, like I said, you just keep breathing life into it and then you'll recreate it. So if you're ready to do that, please reach out to me. I'll put the links in the description below. If you're not ready, if you're in the beginning stages, then my best advice for you is yes, start to look on YouTube and follow these, listen to these videos, follow these people, and also start to be kind and patient with yourself. This is really important. Be kind and patient with yourself. Stop beating up yourself. If maybe this is the third time around, or this is the second relationship, or maybe this is all you've ever experienced, all these toxic relationships, I don't want you to beat up yourself because that's not healthy for you too. All right. So just be kind and patient with yourself. So again, if this video gave you any value, please smash that like button um, or, and or subscribe or comment. It helps me grow the channel, which makes, helps me reach more people. And this is what I love to do is share this information with you to help you get through this time of need. All right, my loves, have an amazing day.